Here to present the Disney Spirit Award, the Director of Marketing for Disney Sports, Farron Kelly, and last year's Disney Spirit Award recipient from Boston College, Mark Hersley. The Disney Spirit Award is presented annually to college football's most inspirational figure. Nobody better exemplifies the award than last year's recipient, Boston College linebacker, Mark Herslick, who is here to help present the award. Mark? Thank you. Winning the award last year uh, was something very special. This award is a little different. It's not about the stats on the field uh, or how you play the game, which uh, we all know this winner can play the game too. Um, but winning the award last year was truly amazing for me. Uh, I battled through cancer, uh, came back on the field to play, uh, and have played in all 12 games of this season, going for a bowl game now. Uh, but this year's winner is a guy who truly exemplifies the word inspiration. He, he's unbelievably courageous. I got to meet his family last night. They're unbelievably courageous as well. And he's really been able to do it on and off the field. Uh, as you just saw, he's the best tight end in the country. Uh, but he's also one of the best men in the country. Let's take a look. Before they became the hands that shaped his future, DJ Williams used one finger to start the journey toward a new life. I just put my finger on a map and it landed in Little Rock and uh, we got in the car and left and that's where we started over. It was not a beginning born of choice. Williams and his two sisters grew up outside Dallas with childhoods marked by brutal fear. Their mother, Vicky, was frequently beaten by their father, David Williams, whose violent episodes were fueled by crack addiction. He had taken a cast iron skillet and broke it over my head. And if I wouldn't have raised my hand up, um, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Her pinky is broken. She can't bend it out. And that reminds her every day of it, that um, that's the hand that saved her life. It made me feel like I was in a position, a helpless position. There was nothing I could do. The day after DJ's 11th birthday in 1999, the family reached the breaking point. He hit me and uh, burst in my eardrum. When he left the house, I looked at the children and I said, I don't think I can do this anymore. I knew what was coming. I knew we were going to leave everything, leave my dad behind. And at the time, it did not sound like a bad day at all. The thing about it now that I'm older is... I understood the courage that it took for my mom to make a decision like that. If we go, we're leaving everything. I said, I'm leaving my job, we're leaving the house. I said, kids, we are just going to start out with the clothes you got on your back. Two days after arriving at a shelter in Dallas, the family found out. David Williams was a fugitive after shooting another man eight times. After a week at the shelter, officials told Vicki to leave the state for her own safety. I was scared to go. I didn't know anybody. And DJ looked at me and said, Mom, don't worry. My mom was ready to leave, and she pulled out a map and told me to put my finger on it. And that's where we're going to go. It was as simple as that. Now, big map, finger on it, boom, that's where we went. As David Williams was eventually found guilty of attempted murder, the family started over in Arkansas with nothing but found strength in one another. We needed each other to lean on, and that's exactly what we did. It made us grow close, uh, very close. DJ knows in a heartbeat you can lose everything you have. And that's why he takes every day and just embraces it. A dozen years after leaving Dallas, the country has now seen what DJ Williams can do with his hands. DJ's at the 15, cuts back to the middle of the field, to the 10, to the 5, Williams to the pylon, touchdown Arkansas! A senior at Arkansas, he's the NCAA's active leader in receptions and receiving yards by a tight end. As he prepares to graduate this month, perhaps the most important thing he carries is his message of hope, strength, and love. I want to be a living example 
that just because you come from a broken background, that's not where it has to end. You can make whatever you want to out of yourself. Hopefully my story will inspire other people to put all the bad things that they have in their life aside and make their choice to become who they want to be. Walt Disney is widely credited with saying, all your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. This year's Disney Spirit Award recipient, DJ Williams, is a living testament to that belief. DJ. Congratulations. We just saw your story. When things got the toughest and the darkest in your childhood, what was it that, that pulled you through, that, that gave you belief that things like this might be possible someday? It was family. You know, we were in a situation where we truly were. We were all we had, and uh, that's what we had to depend on. And, of course, uh, we couldn't be where we were now if it wasn't for God. And he's a big part of our life, our family's life, and I'm just uh, thankful he's put us in the position we are in now. This award is about inspiration. Mark has inspired so many, and inspiration can mean helping people through fear. What, what do you say to kids feeling that, that fear that you felt for yourself and your family as a young child? For me, um, I, w I was young, of course, not too really aware of what was going on, but I still had that sense of fear. But um, I also understood with my mom's guidance, you know, I have a choice, a choice to what I want to be in life. And it's not determined by, you know, my upbringing or who I'm around. It's my choice. And I made the best out of it. And so far, it's worked out to my family. First, starting with my mother, I've dedicated this award to her. I wish we had four trophies because we should have one for me and my two sisters and my mom. It's just uh, an amazing experience, and I'm glad to share it with them. As Mark mentioned, you're also a hell of a football player. You'll be taking the field against Ohio State in, in the Sugar Bowl, along with the Razorback teammates. As a kid, there were Christmases with no presents. We're in the holiday season. Because of football, you're going to have a lot of Christmases, we hope, down the line with lots of big presents. What else besides that has this sport meant to your, your process? It's big time. It's um, helped me build character as a man. I'm really, you know, not a great father figure in my life. And a lot of people that have been that figure have been my coaches, you know, starting with Tim Perry. He's uh, my coach at CAC. He was my coach at CAC. He's a great man. Got me to play football. It's determined to be in the band, and he got me out of it. And uh, I'm thankful he did. I can still um, – there's a YouTube clip playing the snare drum. It's pretty good. But um, And then after that, um, went to Arkansas, recruited by Houston Nutt. He's, he's a phenomenal person, a great players coach. A lot of people can understand after playing with him what I'm talking about. And then Coach Petrino, he's uh, really instilled a lot in me. He understood that with hard work, you can achieve anything. He's a phenomenal coach and a phenomenal man. A lot of people outside really don't you know, understand that, but just being a player, a part of this system, he's really built me as a man. He's built character in each one of our teammates. He's just uh, a great coach, and I have a Jeff Long here with me too. He's our athletic director, and I can go to him and talk to talk to him about anything. I'm just blessed with all the people that I have around me. Well, congratulations on your, your upcoming graduation. Congratulations to the Disney Spirit Award, and also the Mackey Award. And thanks for being the example that you are, folks. DJ Williams, thank you. We wish you the best, sir.